Good evening and welcome to Cronkite News on Arizona PBS. I'm Jennifer Alvarez. The Changing Women Initiative held its Indigenous doula training inside this Hogan, which the women say was representative of a mother's womb. We weren't able to film inside during the workshop because they wanted to maintain a safe space for Indigenous women. Pero cómo definimos nuestra identidad como Latinos o Latinex, Sudamericanos o Americanos y mucho más es en ocasiones un diálogo entre idiomas y una exploración personal. And as a reporter, one of the things that you do is interview people, right? Interview people that have been touched by really tragic events, people that are having the worst days of their lives at times. So how do you, coming in as a stranger to their world, how are you able to get them to open up and share such deep personal stories? It's the toughest part of the job. Barbed wire fences like this one help keep the horses from crossing onto the highway, which is something that both the Forest Service and the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group agree with. HB 2472 proposes to offer a blood test to check for immunity before you get a vaccine. Specifically, it's an antibody titer test, which would measure the strength of your body's immune response response. This bill also didn't make it out of the House and appears to be dead for the session. With all of your research, how are health officials feeling about this? So health officials are extremely concerned about Arizona's safety if high exemptions continue and low vaccinations continue as well. They really see it as a big community threat. That's right, Nicole. Now, the Glendale Police Department usually investigates one school threat, maybe two, within about a three-month period. But since that horrible tragedy in Parkland, Florida, they've investigated over a dozen. I, might, I like making people happy. Claiming the president withheld hundreds of millions of dollars in military assistance to Ukraine. Every four years, that's when the World Cup for Soccer is held. And this year, teams will have to score first place in Russia. This time of year is when many tribal communities host powwows, a time to showcase Native traditions. And he's convinced this is a lot bigger of an issue than it seems, and says that just because our state doesn't have any confirmed cases tied back to vaping doesn't necessarily mean that we don't have any cases at all. Super cool stuff. Cronkite News reporter Mariah Gallego spoke with students and teachers at the Spark School at Kyrene de las Manitas. Hairspray cans and house cleaners used to all contain chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs for short. But now, aerosol sprays are made with all different types of materials to make them more environmentally friendly. Welcome to this Cronkite News Update. I'm Jennifer Alvarez. Here are your top stories we're tracking right now. La Unión Americana de Libertades Civiles sometió una demanda federal en nombre de varias familias migrantes. And Matt, well, I don't know about you, but I feel like it's finally cooling off after all those scorching hot temperatures that we're used to seeing here in the valley. Death and... Um miscarriage and abortion and pregnancy was really like the heart of the issue. Breaking the silence. Native Americans have the highest suicide rates in the nation and young Native Americans face an even greater risk. Now you can catch the sunset from wherever you are. Just go to phoenix.gov slash citycam to see a live stream of the city from the north, east, south and west. City of Phoenix held a video contest to increase awareness for teen dating violence. Now, there were many entries, but one in particular really stood out. The winners of that contest are here with me today from South Mountain High School. And, Tai, you helped produce the piece. Tell me a little bit about your inspiration behind that. Swimmers are getting the chance to compete year-round, make a living, and gain attention from advertisers worldwide. They're pushing for the Green New Deal, which aims to move to 100% clean energy, create sustainable jobs, and support sustainable businesses. In 1972, he fasted for 24 days for farm workers' rights. Now, every year on March 31st, we celebrate Cesar Chavez Day to remember and honor his legacy and everything that he did for labor rights, including the fast that he did here at the Santa Rita Center. Jordan, good afternoon to you, and it looks like you have some beautiful scenery there behind you. What did you learn today? The top 15 winners judged here at the high school level will advance to the national competition held this May in Pittsburgh. Cronkite News reporter Gabrielle Oliveira went to the Hopi Tribes Reservation and spoke with veterans there to better understand the obstacles they're facing. Arizona is the fastest growing 
growing state in the nation. That's according to the U.S. Census Bureau's 2018 American Community Survey. And what about now? Can we expect to be wearing sweaters anytime soon? This CDC data tracks suicide rates nationally. The yellow line shows how suicide impacts Native Americans. Compare their rates to the next highest racial group, whites, indicated by the purple line. And the differences are especially stark for Native Americans 15 to 34 years of age. That's it for Crown Guy News tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for your attention and for the, for the great questions. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.